Garda Lake is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Italy. And some of its beaches are so crowded in summer that you can't even find a place to sit. But what if you could go to a quiet, little known beach where you could enjoy the lake without the crowds and annoyance of tourists? This quiet beach off the beaten path is the hidden gem called Spiaggia della Rocca. If you want to know how to get there and how to prepare for your trip, keep watching this video. The rocky and rugged shores are just as enchanting as the Mediterranean. The water is just as clear as the Mediterranean, with its shades of light green and turquoise. If I didn't tell you where this was, you might think this was a Greek island. That's the beauty of Garda Lake, or Lago di Garda, in North Central Italy. Viaggio della Rocca is accessible only on foot, so that's why it's so little known. Let's see how to get there. Spiaggia della Rocca is located on the southwest side of the lake, near Moniga del Garda. The actual town is called Solarolo, not to be confused with another Solarolo near Ravenna. Here's what to bring with you. You'll need a pair of hiking shoes or sneakers because the terrain is quite rugged when you hike down to the beach. You need your sunscreen, your swimwear, your beach towel. You need some snacks and a water bottle because there's no place to buy refreshments down there. You need your water shoes because there's no sand, only rocks. And you need some insect repellent because there's a lot of woods on the path when you're going down to the beach. And if you return back late, then you might find some insects. This is the place we arrived to park our car and walk down the path to the beach. There's a little cafe here where you can stock up on refreshments and a campground across the street if you're into camping. If you want to find this exact spot, here's what to put in the sat nav. To find the beach, it's a little tricky. Near the entrance to the parking lot, there's a path. Go down that path, take the first right, and keep walking towards the lake. As you can see, the path is quite rocky sometimes which is why you need to have hiking shoes, or at least sneakers. Just be careful to watch where you're walking. The views of the beach from here are just breathtaking, and there's quite some distance still to go. We eventually need to go all the way down there, and look at that water. While walking on this path, you are literally walking on the edge of a cliff. We are near the site of what was once the Manerba Fortress. So that's how this beach got its name. Spiaggia means beach and Rocca means fortress. When you're closer to the beach, the path gets more and more rugged. There are several paths, but don't worry, all of them lead to the beach. And finally, with a little bit of caution, there's just one little piece of path left until you reach this hidden gem of a beach. The entire walk took about 25 minutes from the car to the water. Let's have a look, shall we? Just look at how clean and clear that water is and all the different shades of green and blue. As you can see, it's all rock, which is why you need water shoes. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe to swim. 